and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about the Akuku Akaukau lithium ion phosphate battery 12 volt 100 amp hour. Let's get started. This video is about this Akaukau Akuku, however you pronounce it, Akaukau, Akaukau battery. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong, but this is about a, this battery and we will look in this, I think it's a group 31 size wise. It is still 12 volt 100 amp hour. You've seen other batteries, way more capacity packed into this housing. So I'm curious how it looks inside, but also what this battery is capable of. So as always, we'll start with what is, what's in the box, talk about the specification of this battery. Look if it does provide a capacity, which it does advertise, at least 100 amp hour. And then we'll tear down and see what's inside to understand how the quality is about this battery and uh, maybe do some more testing. Let's get started with what's in the box. So this battery comes, like you can see, like so, with those M8 bolts. Additionally, it does come with uh, some protector caps. It does come with a small little flimsy user manual, but we'll see if it does have everything what we need. So that's it. So let's get right into specification. This battery is a Bluetooth cable battery, which is quite cool. I hope that we can also use that capability a little bit and uh, take a look how it actually performs. And we'll most likely do it with uh, some, yeah, I'm taking this away already, low and high temp cutoff tests. And we'll see what the app does show us. And this leads us straight to the specification of this battery. So we do have, which model do we have? We have the GC 12 volt 100 amp hour. So that's this one, here we go. So it, is, it does say standard charging current is 20 amps, standard discharge current is 20 amps. Maximum continuous charging current is 50, charging, and maximum continuous operating current, which is discharge, 100 amp, pretty cool. And what else? Minimum discharge voltage is 8.8 .8 volts. All right, it does state maximum number of battery allowed in series is, is four pieces, so four in series. Leads us to 48 volt. Yeah, these are the dimensions, of course, also. Don't forget about that. We do have here some stickers, same on this side. Well, which app is to use. And also, very important, it does come with some protection. So the BMS is capable of, and here it comes. It's a smart 100 amp BMS with Bluetooth 5.0, pretty good. It does have overcharge, over discharge, over current, short circuit, over temperature, and, and enhance compatibility for an unparalleled user experience. Oh, well, that's not a protection. <laughs> but um, in the picture, this one, it does show that it is having a low temperature charging protection. So we'll test that as well. All right, let's go to the capacity test. All right, I just unplugged the charger. And, we, and that means let's get started with the capacity test. And I think should be at point two C, which is around 20 amps. So a little bit more, okay, that's fine. We'll let this run and uh, I'll fill you in and get you back as soon as we have the results in for the Akuku lithium ion phosphate battery. Well, that is actually already a really good result. So it's for sure a pass and I'll let it run until it dies. But you can see at least 103. Man, that's great. Nice. So capacity device. Good to see, 106 amp hour. This is very, very good. I'm curious. Um, it does state, by the way, it does state, by the way, it has great A cells. And up to 15,000 plus cycles when it's only depleted up to 60%. So 15,000 is way more. And we've seen it in different videos, different YouTubers as well. Different YouTubers as well, they always say, okay, 15,000 is a new number they came up with. So we'll see. Um, is it that long lasting? I don't know, but we'll see if it does at least last a little long. 
I mean, 15,000 cycles is a lot, so maybe you, viewer, have done that with one of those batteries, which, um, you know, which is worth testing here on the channel as well. Let me know in the comment section below. Besides that, we'll continue with a high current discharge test. So, and see, since this one is advertised with a max continuous discharge of 100 amp, we'll see what happens when we exceed that, right? Let's continue with uh, that high discharge test. I'll get this started and see how much we can get out of this battery. I'm here easy with almost 30 amps. By the way, this one is reading straight from the battery. So always this one should also, but it has also some, needs also some uh, power to be powered on. So there's a little loss included, uh, possible. Well, I'll just crank it up and we'll see how far we can get actually, because there we go. 100 should be easily possible according to the specification, which I'm having right in front of me. But as always, we want to go higher. So right now, this is around 100, what we can see. That's straight pulled out of the battery. It's good. Let's see if we can go a little higher as well. Increases slowly over time. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if it comes back. It actually does come back, nice. So it did mention that it has uh, the overcurrent protection, which would be this proof, looking at the table, when maximum continuous operation, operating current 100 amp is meant with discharge. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's running. Let me increase it. One notch. We'll go higher than 100. Let's rate it for, let's see if it does trip again. Yeah, nice. All right. So it's the battery itself. Pretty good. I'm happy to see this. There is over discharge or over current protection. Let's see what's maximum possible. Well, 200, it's a double. A couple of seconds. And there it is, nice. Oh, oh, but this time that was the inverter which tripped. <laughs> ah, looks like 200 is the max what I can get here out of this one, okay. Well, now it was the battery, <laughs> funny enough. Second time was a battery. Nice. 240. All right, at least 240. I'm not going higher. Uh, this is a good result in my opinion, as it's advertised for 100 amp hours. And again, this is pretty good to see as well. Let me summarize this really quick. So 100 amp is possible. 115 is only possible for a certain amount of seconds. It's around 10 or more seconds, and then it does shut off. So this is pretty good. It does give you the capability of protection, especially what it's advertised for. So I'm really curious what they have for BMS in here. And the peak of very, very short, and that's what's not advertised. I didn't see that anywhere. 240 amps for a couple of milliseconds or less. So this is very cool. So looking again at our specification sheet, no word that it can go up to 240. At least it does shut off very quickly. Very good, very good to see. And that leads us to, let's take it apart, let's tear it down, let's see what's inside and do more testing. Okay, let's continue. I got it open and let's take a look. Okay, when I look at this, it is IP67 rated, pretty good. When I look at this, oh, fooling around, it's a nice little pre-cut thing. Uh, high density foam, we do have, a weirdly 
Oh, that's so funny. Okay, I'll, I'll show you in a second. I did not expect that. So first of all, it is quite interesting. We see one of those stupid Chinese batteries. We do have two eight gauge wires here on the negative side. We have the negative terminal, we have the positive terminal. I don't know what size this one has. I would assume it is probably when this one's eight. Well, I guess this one might be six. I don't think this is four, but uh, I might be wrong. So let's see. We have hydraulic recrimped locks here. Those terminals, pretty good. So that's good to see. We have a BMS, which is, it might be, it might be a JDB BMS. We have no torque marks whatsoever. It feels pretty tight. Looks like nothing's loose or moving around. We have the main positive here. We do have a temperature sense over here, so balance leads. We have some spiral wrap for some organization of the wires, which looks good. But what's quite interesting, let me get it out. So the battery is sitting in here. We have spray foam right and left, but it was on an angle, so it must have been moved around during transportation and shipping, which is not cool. In general, I don't like to see spray foam, so I really don't. Anyway, it is what it is. We'll look how the build quality of the rest is. I'll take it more apart. So we do have, well, that's quite interesting. We have to be mass glued on top, I think with packing tape. From what I can see here, it doesn't look too shabby underneath. It's just the packaging, which is not appealing. So we do have the cells over here. We do have even, and that's, that actually looks like great A cells. Um, the QR code looks still pretty good. How oh, interesting, it has some very hardly, very hard glue here and here as well on the main battery, positive and negative. So we actually do have some wrap cells. Uh, not more information besides production city, Wenshu and 2023, a little bit older, but still they perform pretty well. It looks good. The vents are accessible. We have the spider wrap here. We have a temperature sensor here, which comes from up the main board. Pretty good. I like that. Yeah, I don't like the clue, but it is you know, it's protecting, it's, it is a blob of cool. It does have some bus bars which have a hump, so that's cool. So for exp expansion, contraction, pretty cool. We can see epoxy boards all around, in between and around the battery. That's good. In general, the build quality is not bad. I just, you know, for packing tape, that's, you know what, I even have some battery packs built myself like this. So the top EMS, I don't like that very much. It's not cool that it was moving around still, even with the spray foam. Um, Man, you could have filled up the entire thing with spray foam. Still, <laughs> it was moving around up, up and down. So this little thing sadly didn't work. But um, still, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not saying and supporting that. But I st still see the value in the build quality here. We have even those balance leads have those um, screws on top. So that's pretty good. I think you've seen already enough. I think the build quality inside is good, outside it could be in a better housing. It could be in a 24 easily, even less. Let's start with the cold and high temp cutoff tests. Since it's advertised, I want to see that it works. So here's the temperature probe. I'll use a heat gun over here. And here you can see it charging. So it should stop charging um, when it reaches a certain temperature. Usually it's around 65 to 75, so let's see. And there it is, pretty good. Let's see when it comes back. And then we'll do high temp cutoff test. There it is, pretty nice. Now we'll do, uh, first of all, the duster, which is way less than 20 Fahrenheit, way less than minus 20. Oh, there it is working, all right. I didn't want to spray on the cell. That was not good. But there it comes back, just again. There we go. And it stops. All right, let me connect to our Cuckoo battery. Nice, there it is. So down here we have the temperature. 
We'll do one more time with a freezing cold temperature. All right, here we can see moss at seven degree. Let's do it again, here we are. Now I can see minus 16. Oh, there's a delay, minus 26, minus seven. Yep, and now I can see change under temperature protection. Ah, bummer. Okay, I think I know what it is. Let's go in the overkill soul lab. All right, when we look into the overkill soul lab, what's pretty cool about this, you go into settings and then you can read usually the settings if it's at least with this app. And then we can see down here, uh, charge under temperature is at minus 10. Trigger delay is five. So let me change that. Cause I don't want to have minus 10. We see it works at minus 10. I want to have it at zero. Cause it just doesn't make sense. I want to have to release at three. And I do not want to have any delay. So then BMS right. Let's see if that does do the trick. Done, it's in. All right, so that means, yeah, I'm not a fan of this app to be honest, because it really, really needs so much time. It's created the JBD BMS has used that quite a lot, and I think that's also one, but it's so flimsy as well. All right, so we got it. It's at 95%, that's not true, it is at 42. I don't know, um, that's the Soul Overkill Soul app, which does some, when I write something to do BMS, something's wrong. Anyways, we're charging. We have the temperature here. We changed the temperature setting and you can still see it. And now what we'll do, we will use the temperature package, package here. Let's see if we can trigger it. There we go. So let's see, temperature, the ice pack is dropping six degree and it's, it seems to be, it must be below zero already. It's just a delay, yeah. So this ice pack is at minus seven Celsius and then it stops and then it, at plus three, it should restore, and I guess that's already reached. Just that the app has a delay of the refresh rate. All right, but I think you get the idea, and that's the important part with this. Yeah, that's the most important part. So that means it does have cold and high temp cutoff. We can change the cold temperature cutoff if you don't want to have it at minus 10. If you want to have it at zero like I am, I'm more careful. Pretty sure the manufacturer will tell us, oh no, the cells could go up to that or whatever their manufacturer about the rep cells says. But it is good to see, um, it's just loose around dingling um, would be good. I think temperature sensor to be attached to the cell instead of being up in the amb ambient temperature area. But so far inside build quality is great. It's not the best cluing job and also with the spray form, housing could be smaller, but build quality inside, I like what I see here. Price wise, that's the price what you can get at the moment. And let me know in the comment section below if you wanna see anything else about this. 100 amp hour advertised, but has delivered 106. Pretty solid in terms of the 115 slash 100 amp max continuous discharge. And you don't need a really fuse because with 115 it just shuts off after a couple of seconds. Pretty cool. If you like that stuff, subscribe to the channel. If not, still thanks for watching. Cheers.